Okay. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Hi, I'm David Deuce, like a senior writer with Golf Week, GolfWeek.com, and USA Today Sports, and I'm here at the Titles Performance Institute, and I've got Bob Vokey right over here. We're gonna go through a little bit of a wedge grind fitting with me out here at TPI. All right, so like we're blind fitting, so this yes. might be good, this might not be good, but we're gonna find out. I'm gonna try and go to that back pin over there, which we yeah. zapped off to be about 40 yards. 40 yards. This is a little bit of a, a little bit of 40. tricky shot, so let's, let's see how we do here. Look at you. Well, that one was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel pretty good about that one. So I'm not looking. I don't know what that, yeah. that sole configuration was, but, but that one I gotta I hope know. is gonna be in contention. Oh yeah, so we're gonna put that there. Then okay. We'll go, then we'll give you another, another little option. It seems to be going up a little higher. A little higher, a little higher, because it has, stopped. what it has is it's playing a little bit to you. I'm not looking. It has a low bounce, but it has a very narrow sole. All right, and so do we have one more you want me yeah, to try? Do you I'm think you found the, the wand that fits the wizard here? Okay. Yeah, the operator is, is definitely getting warmed up. Well, I like that. Look at that ball go up in the air. Okay, now we'll take a round. Okay. And you for that particular shot, it's going up and let's see, it's going to make a little the difference here. Okay. Take, Take it over to the black pin. Okay, so I'm gonna go now over to, here. Oh, we're going over a little bit of a right. bunker. So you wanna get the loft is where you need that loft. So this one I'm gonna to have to stop with trajectory because yep. mm -hmm. I can't bring this one in low. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful. See? Ooh, and we're putting. It, you hit it a little thin and look it, you still got away with it. We're putting, all right. I'll give you one more. All right. So keep track of these so that we can do yep. the reveals here at the end. I wanna make sure that I know what I've got here. Nice, that's what I like. Well, I certainly have the answer. distance That's on that I like one. Pin pin. <laughs> All right, so do some revealing. What was I okay. hitting and what was happening there? Okay, the last one that you hit right now is what I call the S grind. Okay. It was very, very straight. It was a good trajectory, but I found it dug a wee bit okay. on you. Okay. Who is S grind ideally suited for? Like when you, when you, what is a classic S grind player? The S grind player is player. He's got, I would call him a mid, mid. I call him a, a digger. Okay. Then I call a slider. He'd be somewhere in between. Okay. Like how between you know, from like, from that, course type, like we've got relatively yeah, soft, soft turf, turf going on here. S grind good for somebody who's yes. on soft turf. That's another thing, but it's it's close to be cut, but it's still soft. Okay. So can you you can use bounce here. Yeah, okay. I, I would probably recommend you a little bit more bounce, but I'm going to throw a little curve at you. What I like. Oh to gosh, see here we go. Sometimes. Got this 56. Okay, a 56. 56. I want you to try to hit that same shot. That you do, but this 56 is getting a little more versatility. You can take it in lower, so okay. just sing it out now. Trailing edge. I'm just trying to do, show you a little something wow. that, that you can do. Okay. And it's, you were hitting that 60 before. Now this one, believe is it this, or not. Is this how much you want? It's a 56. This is a 56, 56, and it's getting up that high. Getting up high as you need it. It's my little story, as I told you earlier, I, I, the sand, look at that. Off to the right, but the the trajectory was Perfect. the highest shot I've hit Perfect. so far. And that was. And so, what is this one? Can I reveal? Yeah. This is a 56 D. A D grind. Okay, so it's, now who is D grind ideally for? Player who likes a little bit more more bounce, but who has the ability to rotate it open. He can toe is removed for the old it's an old old shot that's been yeah. having not around a long time. But I know VJ still uses it. Yeah. From I got it from Lanny. Like the same, stand it on in and hit through. Beautiful, little tip track, green side. A lot of guys do that. So now the very first one that you showed me. This is I'm showing. The reason you, we're do you on still the track. Think that was, you still think that was my favorite? Or this that is, was the one that probably said, That was your favorite. Now look, at this is the story. Yeah. This is, call it the D grind, okay. which is basically the, I call it the son of the, the M grind. <laughs> the son of the M grind. Son okay. of the M grind. Okay. So and now TV which D. one did I hit first? Because that seemed okay. to be the one that you liked the best. Yes, this was the best. And this one is was the M grind. M grind. M grind. This is your most favorite grind, yes, if I'm not mistaken. Most exactly in my MF grind. Yep. And my foot, but what what it's got? It's got the got the heel, trailing edge, and toe removed. It gives you the bill. That's what you were doing. So who? So who is? So shots. M grind is ideal for who? That particular wedge could be used greenside. It's got the Scott the loft. It's good for shallow cut. It's closely cut players, mm -hmm. even in in any types of turf, you can use that that wedge. But you have to be is this very the, good with it. You is, have to use it. You have to hit it. You can't 
So you've got to so rotate, you've got you, to, you can't quit on the ball. You can't quit on the ball. How does this type of a wedge and a, and a grind configuration, this is out of turf. Yep. How does it work out of bunkers? Is this, this ideal? Is this ideal. also? Very, very good out of bunkers. Okay. It's phenomenal. If I'm somebody who is a real phobia or a fear of bunkers, what's probably going to be the best you, type well, of grind, generally speaking, and... for me? This one. Okay. See this right is here? the K and grind. K grind. And it's got, I can just see right, a, a much wider. Sole, yep. Wider sole, which gives you a little bit more resistance to dig it. That's what you want to, you want to wedge to do. In the sand, if you got it, if it's like a river sand, it's firm, it's shallow, you can get away with a little less bounce. Yep. And you can always use your sand wedge there. But here, if you want to get, if it's tight, you're close to the lip, yep. you want to get it up quicker, that's when the 60 degree will come in. I call it the lobber, will come in. Yep. And this particular 60, you hit very, very well. And it's, but yeah. I, I saw that the M was a little bit tighter. Cool. So, it, so it really comes down to knowing what types of shots you're going to try and hit, what type no of course conditions it. you're going to be playing most often, and then matching up the sole configuration with your yeah, game and your conditions. Matching your particular te technique. Got it. Whether you're upright or whether you're a shallow swinger, you know? Yeah. Bob, thanks a lot, pal. My friend.